guys. Okay, so I just went back and watched the replay from the video and on my computer screen it showed that my camera had went dark, but in the video I'm still moving and you guys can still hear me. So, not sure what happened, but sorry about that. And I did go through my scrapbooks and found the two pages that I was telling you about in the last video. Um, I have covered my girls' faces um, for privacy reasons, but I do want to show you the scrapbook layout. And so I'm going to bring that in. And so it's just this uh, DSP. Now this is not a Stampin' Up! DSP, but this is one that I had used and it made this a few years ago. But it's the snowflakes and then the, all the different shades of blues and purple. So it just, when I saw that DSP from Stampin' Up! from the Snowflake Splendor Suite, it just kind of reminded me of this layout with those colors. And so I, I told you guys if I could find it, I would show you. So here it is. So then some inspiration from that as far as the as far as the colors go. So okay, so now we are ready to start the next project. And we're gonna be working on a Christmas card. And this one is a very quick, excellent card to do for mass production if you have a lot of cards you want to make and send out. And so here is this beautiful. Um, silver foil. This is silver foil and what I did was I used the um, Stampin' Up! Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder and oh my gosh I love love this folder. It's just multiple trees and, um, and this one is in the holiday catalog and it is on page 35. I think it's ten dollars. Boy you could do a lot with this and, and you can also even use it for scrapbooking as well. So that's the 3D Evergreen Forest embossing folder. Um, and this is just silver foil. And it makes it, depending on how the light hits it, it makes it look like the trees are bling. And nothing extra. It is part of the silver foil. And so this is really a great one to mass produce. And I also use this sentiment. Um, I heat emboss with silver embossing powder to match our silver foil. And this sentiment, Christmas blessing to you and yours, came from the Wrapped in Christmas um, stamp set, which is also in the holiday catalog. has a lot of great sentiment. And so this is the one that we use for this card. But it's a little something for you. Surround yourself in the love of the season. May your days be merry and bright. Friends and family are the truest gifts of Christmas. Isn't that the truth? Noel, peace on her. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And let the joy of the season fill your heart. So, I, I think I've mentioned in the past, I love stamp sets that have multiple font styles and different a variety of sentiments. I'm always looking for different sentiments to use in my project. So, of course, when I saw this one, it was a must-have. And this stamp set is in the holiday catalog as well on page 11. Um, and then silver foil sheets is in our annual catalog, which is on page 153. Okay, so this is our card we're going to work on next. And let me get it out of light here so it's not blinding anybody. Um, one thing I do want to mention is that the holiday catalog goes until January 4th. So we have until then, if there's anything in there that you have to have, you have until January 4th to get it. Um, also know that the closer we get to the end of a catalog, there, there have been times when supplies run out. So, just FYI. Okay, um, so now I'm going to go ahead. Now here's the funny thing, when I created this project the first time, I actually used a gold foil. And I thought, well, I think it would look better on the silver, so I tried it. The silver, silver and red go really good together, and silver and knight of navy go really good together. Um, and I'm sure there's multiple other color combinations, but those are the two that I have tried. And so, we're going to go ahead now and go ahead and get started. 
So for this project, all you need is um, your mono glue and your dimensionals. So we're going to bring those in and dimensionals in. And you have your ribbon. And the bows. So I pre-tied everybody's bows. You can cut the tails if they're a little long. Okay, so we're going to go through dimensions really quick. So this is um, real red. And the base is five and a half. Sorry, wrong. <laughs> um, five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And then we have two whisper white pieces and these are exactly the same. You need one for the front of your card and one is the inside liner. And these are four quarters by five, I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. And then our silver foil embossed piece is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And so this is, again, it's a silver foil. I'm gonna turn this over and you have amazing detail even on the back side of that. So my next project is I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna take a sponge and just lightly ink up those trees and I wanna see what that looks like. I'm gonna get this out of the light. So not to blind you guys, hopefully that's okay. I'll just move it out of the way altogether. And then our sentiment piece, um, it's much easier to cut your paper first and then fit your sentiment onto your paper because then you pretty much can get it lined up without having to go, okay, I'm too far up to the top or too far to the right. Uh, this just was easy, but you can do it either way. And so this one is three and seven eighths by, I'm sorry, one and one eighth by three and three quarter. So one and one eighth by three and three quarter. Okay. And then one of these set aside for our inside liner. So what I like to do is to secure our white to our card base first and you want to make sure that your fold is up at the top and we're going to go ahead and glue this down to our real red card base and you do you do want to leave a border all the way around you guys know i like having my borders all the way around on my card bases Okay, and one thing I want to mention when we're dealing with foil or anything that you have used an embossing folder on, or some people call this dry embossing because you're not using heat to heat it up, um, you want to be very careful because your, your embossed areas are raised. And so when you go to put your adhesive down and secure this to your card, if you push down, you can actually take those those raised areas and push them further in so that it's like they're recessed and not raised. So you do want to be careful on that. And I don't know if you guys can tell this is bowed a little bit. And so what that means when you go to secure this to your card, you really want to make sure you have got that adhesive because you want it to be flat and flush with your card. So I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with my, my glue. You don't have to worry about it so much across the top, but on the bottom you definitely want to do that. Okay. And then go ahead and secure your embossed piece down. And you do want just a little bit of that white border showing all the way around on all four sides. So I'm just eyeballing here to make sure I have... Okay, I need to move it because I don't have enough of a white border showing through on the right hand side. There we go. Nope, I need to move it again. <laughs> Okay, there we go, that's better. And then I'm just very carefully 
securing that down without pushing too hard but I'm going to put more emphasis on this bottom part because that's where it wants to bow and lift up and you absolutely can like I see I have an opening right here you can go ahead and sneak some glue in there and secure that down so I'm going to do that now I don't know if you guys can see where it's lifted up right there so I'm just coming in with my glue and I've managed to lift up this whole bottom by running that through. And you can also turn it upside down and do it that way. Just even pressure, gentle pressure, not very hard. Oh, I just made a mistake. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you can, if it's not too late, lift up your lift up your gold fo your silver foil piece. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, I messed up. You want to take your, your red ribbon and tuck that behind your foil piece. So I'm going to try to sneak that in there now if I can. So sorry. And here, I'm always telling people, make sure you remember to tuck your ribbon in behind your, your layer before you attach it down. Okay, I think I think we made it. So sorry guys. See, even I make mistakes. And I've been crafting for a long time. Well, human. Okay. Whew! We saved that one. And then what we're gonna do, I got I've got glue on my fingers. Hang on just a second. I got to get this glue off, otherwise it will stick to everything I touch. We don't wanna do that. Get my glue eraser out. Isn't this a pretty case? Is it my glue and residue eraser? A dear friend of mine made made these, and uh, boy, I use them all the time. So I'm just trying to get that glue off of my fingers. Stampin' Up used to sell these, and I think they got away from them. But oh, these are great to have on hand. Oh. Okay, there we go. Much better, now we're ready. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in our dimensionals because that's what we're gonna put on the back of our sentiment. And so I did three, one on each end and one in the center. One, two, three. And then we're gonna peel away our backing. And this also, so our ribbon is adhered from behind our silver foil layer. And so when, with their dimensionals, it helps to secure that ribbon to the front as well. Peel that away. Okay. And then, so I try to just keep it kind of in the center. You want to leave a gap on each end. And so you can just eyeball it. And then when you've got it where you want it, go ahead and secure that down. And it's, so now your sentiment piece is secured and it's securing your ribbon, your ribbon as well. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and before we attach our bow, we're gonna put our inside liner inside our card. Leave a red border all the way around. And secure that down. Okay. And now my tails are too long. And so if your tails are too long on your bow, you can go ahead and trim those down. And so I'm going to just trim mine just a little bit here. Because one thing you don't want to do is to cover up your sentiment. Okay, I think I forgot to tell you, glue dot is really the best way to, whoops, sorry, to attach these to your project. So I'm getting my glue dots now. Okay. 
Guten Tag, guten Tag. There we go. And bring in my paper piercer. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take my bow. I have glue dots on my sheet. I'm just going to take a, what we call kiss my bow to that glue dot. I don't know who came up with that term. It's kind of weird, but that we've been saying that for a long time now in the crafting world. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure my bow to just the corner, kind of at an angle. But you do want to be, you do want to be mindful not to have your bow go outside of your card because it will make it difficult to put it in an envelope. And so I'm going to bring in my tail just a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm just going to tuck that right into the corner here of my sentiment. And there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? And super quick. I mean, you could knock out, I don't know how many, in, in a few hours, you could have a lot of cards made ready to go for the holidays. Okay, so there we have our beautiful evergreen forest of trees. There we go. I'm trying to get out of the light <laughs> that that silver foil is reflecting. Beautiful. Okay. And then I just want to make sure. So the real vet base is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Your whisper white layers are four inches by five and a quarter. And your silver embossed piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And the sentiment piece is one and one eighth by three and three quarters. And this uses the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder and the Wrapped in Christmas stamp set with this sentiment. Christmas blessing to you and yours. And I used um, silver embossing powder to heat emboss our sentiment and then the sheer ribbon. Okay. So that is it. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. And we are making good time. So now we are ready for project number three. I love you all and see you soon. Bye-bye.